Success is about a happy life, and a happy life is just a string of happy moments. But most people do not allow the happy moments because they are so busy trying to get a happy life. I have a nine-year-old daughter who is.、Um, Thanks to all the people in this room, including you, has listened to the Sarah books every night for years. And、um, the other day, she had a specific outcome that she wanted to see, and we came up with、um, kind of the words. I, I feel good.、Um, Everything's always working out. Yeah,、me. kind of like that. I mean, just the the. She feels really good、um, having fun with this outcome at school, and then it went a different direction. And and we were, I was tucking her in, and she was going to bed, and she looked at me really sad and said, "It doesn't work." And it, it kind of hurt me a little bit because I know it does work because my life is unfolding and beautiful. That's a good time to say you're just taking score too soon. He、said it does, yeah. It, sometimes、uh, the path of least resistance is a little convoluted, but the payoff's always there. Well, I don't. Unless I, you get、yeah. sad and put yourself on a different trail. I hopped right back into being、uh, yeah. appreciative, yeah. and yeah. she did too. But、yeah. I just had a same conversation with her, and, and it kind of came up again. And she changed it that that it isn't that it doesn't work; it's just that it didn't work. And、um, yet, was, yet, yet. It's working. And how、It's、it has, working. is unfolding is、yeah. still yet to be seen. Yeah, because there's so much fun in the. If, if everything you wanted just all of a sudden happened, after a while you'd say it works, but it is boring, boring, boring. I wanted it's there. 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 Need a bigger garage. I wanted it's there. I wanted. It's... In other words, it the fun in life is identifying the desire. And molding yourself into harmony with it, and then watching the universe winking at you all along the way, and it isn't the outcome that you want anyway. It's all of the winking along the way. In other words, the reason you want that is for the so that you, for the potential of feeling alive. These are big subjects for kids because they they want manifestations. You all do, but well, that's kind of what like, I'd like to. Learn more about, and that is how to support her in being on this path with me in her way, not in my way. Well, first we want to say, don't worry about her because she's figuring it out. I knew you were going to say that. I know that, but <laughs> and, I still need some certainty. Next, we want to say, are you? We want to ask, are you letting mildly her disappointment affect your? Vibrational, mildly, environment. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can't help her under those conditions because she is disappointed. You're reacting to her disappointment, and you're trying to offer her a remedy from that vantage point. So, what you want to say to yourself is, "I'm no good to her when her disappointment has become mine." So, what do I know about her? She's young. Ah.、Oh. To be that age and get hold of this, to be deliberately honing your environment and watching the results of that, to be born and get to go to almost immediately to step four. How about that? To be that age and already creating life from a step four platform. These are good times.、That、sounds better. These are really good times. And would I, in any way possible, deprive her of anything that she needed to help her to identify what she wants? And is her desire really sharpened to its strongest point, or is there much more bang for her buck coming now as a result of the desire that she is living? In other words, you're the creator of your own reality. Not one of you. It's like the sculptor. You grab this big clump of clay. It's your first time. Ooh, it feels funny in your hands. You slap it down. You say, "Oh, well, that didn't turn out very well." You don't. Ex- that's not the way you want it. You want to get your hands in it. You want to. You want to figure it out. You want to watch what's going on with it. You say, it, it, "It's life experience. You came for the experience of life, not for the results of life." Can you f- hear the difference? You didn't come for the for the bullet points. You came for all of it. And so there isn't anything more delicious than to be. Eight or 
80 it doesn't matter what your age is and to deliberately find a feeling and then notice the the number of things in a day that come that represent that feeling good feeling or bad feeling it is so wonderful to be consciously aware that this is coming because of this feeling and then if you don't like what kind came say huh I can't change that outcome I can't move from a hundred thousand in debt to a hundred thousand in the black instantaneously but I do have the ability to change the emotion I do have the ability to start in a simple enough place that I can find an emotion that feels good and I do have the knowledge that law of attraction will add the momentum to that you say what we want to say to all of you as if you are eight when something doesn't happen and you feel disappointment something so much better is coming because now you have this impetus with you too and if you don't get freaked out in this disappointment and hold it off it'll come fast how often has that happened to you where it looked like it wasn't working out and then something so much better worked out and in retrospect you say oh yeah I can see how that added to that you see and it's always that way do you believe us when we tell you that you create your own reality and do you believe us when we say because we said it today in a clearer way than we've ever said it before that there is an environment surrounding you of focused it's not nebulous it's focused and specific well-being about you focused toward you do you believe that oh if we could just find a way of helping you to understand to visualize to see to know this stream of well-being that's focused upon the brilliance and the beauty that is you focused on you all the time just looking for a crack of a little bit of resistance for the good to get in but you're saying oh I wasn't born under the right star or my mother always liked her best or that teacher told me that I'd never amount to anything or the kids in school always bullied me or 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 I'm, I don't have as much money as I want or I'm misunderstood all the time in other words as you're beating the drums as you're telling it the way you think that it is then even though source never lets up source never stops watching for the opportunity to help you know just a little more how worthy you are and help you know just a little more how brilliant you are never stops giving you through the path of least resistance the next great idea which sometimes you translate into something that you call inspiration never stopping never giving up never stopping do you understand that now do you understand it a little more are you more in a place that you're wanting to let more of that in aren't you ready to say thanks 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 more of the time thanks that was a really good idea thanks for being here with me thanks for knowing what I want thanks for understanding who I am talk about parental guidance your kids don't need you they've got source and most parents thwart the relationship between kids and source because they try to do what source does better and parents don't do it very well because they worry you say so do you know you create your own reality do you know that it's a vibrational universe do you know that things are always working out to you and the evidence of them working out for you is happening in this moment to the degree that you are soft and compliant and allowing it and that you are the one that builds the shell around you and makes it a rougher ride than it needs to but you could soften that shell and it would be a less rough ride do you get that and that what is happening to you has nothing to do with anyone else on the planet except that you're reacting to the way they're reacting to you and messing up what you're doing with your vibrational reality that with your vibrational environment Esther has been trying to find the perfect word because she can feel us meaning it so she wants to say it's a climate or it's an environment it's a state of being it's it's the vibrational beingness that you want to work on and if we were standing in your physical shoes we would work on it in these ways we would go to places that feel good as often as we could and we would acknowledge that it feels good and we would try to identify what is it about this place that feels so good in other words we would not 
try to solve issues and we would not get into debates with people who are trying to solve issues and we would not talk about problems of others with them and we would not talk about our own problems with anyone else we would spend our time looking for that central place that feels good even if it's something as central and basic as the sun came up this morning and that helped me and the food keeps growing and that helps all of us and the world keeps turning because it is right that it does and babies keep being born because this is the leading edge of creation and source keeps flowing because nothing other than that is natural and well-being abounds no matter how hard you try to find dark corners of the world they are small and puny in comparison with the brilliance and the beauty of the world the well-being is dominant no matter what anybody is focused upon in the moment that's just a fact of the way that it is the well-being is dominant and as you start focusing yourself in those ways then the details like our friend was saying those winks from the universe the details the specific details will begin flooding into your experience until you will not be thinking that what Abraham's trying to get you to do is just withdraw from life and find something simple to focus upon and live happily ever after in a sort of confined world instead you will notice that you have a cadre a group of non-physical intelligence who understands the specific and intimate details of your desire who is inspiring you to a path of least resistance not just for the outcome that you think you want but for the pleasure of the unfolding along the way and then you're going to start making these associations and then something's going to shift for you it's going to be like a fulcrum shift it's going to be like a paradigm shift and if it hasn't already happened for you which in many cases in this room it has it's about to and it will feel like this the details of your life will cause you to feel worthy because suddenly you'll be reacting to the core of what is good rather than to the anomaly that feels bad can you feel that shift we applaud you for your ability to listen with us because we said a lot of the same things over and over again and yet we said things to you all day long here today that no one on this planet has ever understood as clearly as you just did you are out here on the leading edge of thought and it's not the big deal all of you are making it out to be when you set aside proving any worthiness that takes away a lot of responsibility and you might as well give it up because there's nobody standing in council for that so no matter how hard you try to show your worthiness you're not getting any brownie points with anybody because there's not that kind of thing going on when you are trying to explain yourself when you're trying to explain how you got into this place that you really don't want to be you're practicing the wrong vibrational dynamic and you're just going to get more of that till after a while now that you've heard this conversation you will grow weary of that repetition and it is our expectation that you will begin to focus in the moment where all of your power is more deliberately upon things that you can do something about we would encourage you as soon as you can get off to yourself and get a piece of paper and something to write with in your hand that you would begin identifying for yourself what things you really like to do what feels good when you do it and what feels good when you think about it and let that be the thing that you focus upon for as long as it takes for the universe to deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that because it is our promise to you if you will take the time to make that list the universe will deliver to you a whole bunch of stuff that's just like that list and through that experience not through the words that we've been offering here today but through the universal response to your focused understanding you will prove to yourself that you are the creator of your own reality and that life is supposed to be good for you not as supposed to be while it isn't supposed to be and is there is great love here for you and as always we stand unconditionally and eternally in the vortex
Deliberately guiding your thought is the key to a joyful life, but a desire to feel joy is the best plan of all. Because in the reaching for joy, you'll find the thoughts that attract the wonderful life you desire.